ago, there was a wizard. And his name was Vader Moynin. They say he made all of Finland. He could sing a song and mountains would spring from flat ground. He could sing a song and birds would appear in an empty sky. He could sing a song and trees would sprout from bare rock. Vayner Moynin had power. It was in his songs. Now once he'd made all of Finland, people say Vayner Moynin wanted to tell someone about it. The problem was he couldn't tell the animals. They were too busy finding food. He couldn't tell the humans. They were too busy making houses and planting crops. But he could tell Tuwani. Tituani was a wizard almost as powerful as Vayner Moynin, but he had another name too. He was the Lord of the Dead. You see, he lived across the Dead River in a dark and desolate land. And every once in a while, he came into our world, usually to cause trouble. One day, Vayner Moynin was walking down the road when he met Tuani. He said, hey, Tuani, what do you think of this beautiful land I've created? Tuani looked at it and said, yeah, it's okay. Okay? What do you mean, okay? Have you ever seen beautiful birch trees that shine so much in the sun? Have you ever seen rivers so full of silvery fish? And Tuani looked around with his one good eye and said, eh, it's okay. But, uh, you know, later Moynin, uh, those deer you have there in the forest, this winter, they're going to eat all the trees. Vayner Moynin looked at that for a little while and said, no, no, you're wrong, Tuwani. Um, see, I make bear and snake to chase the deer out of the forests in the wintertime. Yeah, but don't bear and snake sleep in the wintertime, Vayner Moynin? The wizard hadn't thought of that. Well, you know, you're right, Tuwani. Say, since you saw the problem, maybe you can see your way through to a solution. Could you make a creature to chase the deer out of the forests in the wintertime? Tuani thought about that for a minute and he said, well, sure, on one condition. What's that? Well, I need some of your magic to make it happen. See, my magic can only kill things. I need yours to bring them to life. What magic words can you give me to make a creature? And Vayner Morning thought for a minute and he said, all you gotta do once you've made your creature is whisper into its ear, up and devour the evil one. Say that and the creature will spring to life. Tawani smiled as he stopped away thinking, <laughs> we'll see who gets devoured this time, Vader Moynin. <laughs> he walked down to a village of the humans, went to a blacksmith shop and got a handful of nails and stuffed them into his pockets. He got two glowing coals out of the fire and put them in the palm of his hand. He went to a carpenter shop and got a great big roof beam and put it over his shoulder. And he walked out into the woods and he found white rocks. And he stuffed them into a bag as well. He found gray moss and he gathered that up. And took all these things across the dead river to a cave where he lived. He set that roof beam down like a backbone. He used those white stones for bones for four legs and a tail and a head. He used that gray moss for fur and flesh. Took those iron nails for teeth and claws, and those two glowing coals for eyes. And when he'd made his gray creature, he bent over and whispered into its ear, Up and devour Vayner Moynin! <laughs> Nothing happened. Didn't you hear me? Up and devour Vayner Moynin! <laughs> Still nothing happened. Magic word Vayner Moynin gave me didn't even work. I'm going to go talk to that wizard. And he grabbed his creature and stomped off to Vayner Moynin's house and pounded on the door. Vayner Moynin, get out here. I want to talk to you. And when the old, old wizard opened the door, he saw Tuani standing there and a gray furry creature lying on the ground behind him. Tuani, is that the creature you met? It, it looks very scary. Uh, uh, Tuani, it's not moving. Of course it's not moving, Vayner Moynin. The magic you gave me didn't even work. I want another magic word. Didn't work? You know, Tuani, maybe it's how you're saying the words. You know, how you say something is just as important as what you're saying. Let me hear how you pronounce the words. 
Now, Tuani did not want to show Vaynerman what he'd been saying, so he bent very close to the creature's ear and whispered as quietly as he could, up and devour Vaynermoinen. <laughs> Nothing happened. Now, even though people say Vaynermoinen was old on the day he was born, he had really sharp hearing. And he heard what Tuani was saying, and he knew what to do. You know, Tuani, you're mispronouncing the last part of that sentence. It should really be up and devour the evil one. Bring the creature began to move and it looked around. It looked over at Tuani and over at Vaynermoinen and back at Tuani and a growl rumbled like thunder from its throat. And Tuani began backing away from the house. Well, well I, I see that the creature's moving now. I guess my job is done. I'll see you later, Vaynermoinen. Bye! And he took off running for the woods and the creature was chasing right behind him, growling and snapping at the heels of his leather boots. Later morning called after him, Tuani, what do you call this creature that you made? But all Vayner Morning heard was the words, Stop, wolf, stop, wolf, stop, wolf. Now we thought the creature's name probably wasn't Stop. So it must be called Wolf. That's what we call him to this very day. And the grandmothers in Finland, they still tell their children. If you hear a wolf howling in the forest, don't worry. It's only doing its job chasing deer out of the forests in the wintertime, so the deer don't eat all the trees. But even if it's not doing that job, it's doing its other job, chasing Tuwani, the evil one, keeping him moving all the time, so he can't cause too much trouble in any one place. And someday, someday, they might just catch him. And that's the end of the story. Mm -hmm.